Hey, it's Jeff Gimmins here with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be going over Massive X and Machine. And I'm going to show you one of my favorite new features in Massive X, which is this ability to choose a scale and allow that scale to have extra notes of polyphony every time you just play one single note. And you can choose how many voices of polyphony you have when you play. So you can have only two notes play when you play one or three notes when you play. But the cool thing is all of the notes are going to be in the key and the scale that you've chosen. So let me show you how that works. So let's go over and check out Massive X. And what you see here is a project that I've just sort of whipped up this weekend. So let's get into the feature I wanted to share today, which is the scale mode. So let's go over to this guitar patch. So if we go down to the voice section and click on where it says unison, and then also click on where it says scale, what it allows me to do is choose a scale and it allows me to choose how many notes out of that scale are triggered every time I play one note. If I add two notes, I get you can hear two notes playing at the same time. If I add a third, and so on and so forth, all the way up to six, every time you play one note. So you get up to six notes of polyphony every time you play one note. And if I play more, then I get even more notes, of course. So let's set this back to something more reasonable, like three this chord morphs, crank it all the way to the right, and then chord detune, I leave that off as well. So what you'll want to do is figure out what the key of the song is that you're in, especially if you're not a piano player, figure out the key, and you'll have to find some way of doing that. I have a music theory basics video, by the way, if you go way back into some of my old videos. But what I did for this song, I was in the key of C, if you click on this little thing that says Ionian V right here, that's where you can choose the mode or the scale for your song. And you can see all of these crazy names here. We're just used to calling our major scale a major scale, but really what it is, is the Ionian mode. And there's seven basic modes that we deal with in music. But what I would say for this video is just to understand that we have Ionian, which is the major mode, and that Ionian V setting is going to work perfectly. So if you're in a major key, choose the key that you're in and choose Ionian V and you're going to get major notes added. Even if you hit the black notes or the wrong notes, it will automatically set them to the right notes. So it won't let you play anything other than the key of C on the major scale or the major mode. And the coolest thing is when you go over to machine, it will only allow you to play in the major key there as well. It doesn't matter what pads you hit, they're all gonna be in the key of C and they're gonna be major. And then if you're in a minor key, you're gonna to wanna to probably choose this natural minor setting. If I go natural minor CZ, that allows me to only play in the key of C minor. No matter what notes I'm playing. So on that machine, same thing. If I choose natural minor V, you'll hear that the black notes or the other notes, depending on what key you're in, are just going to give you a little bit more variation. So each pad on the machine will give you a little bit more variation with the V setting. Pretty neat way to play machine. If you want minor chords, go for the natural minor. If you choose natural minor V, you'll get more options than you will with CZ. With CZ, you'll get some rep repeaters. Right? So a little bit less variation. Again, on machine or on the keyboard, chromatically. Now you get uh, a little bit more options with this V setting. I'm not sure what it stands for because the manual isn't out yet, but we'll see when that comes out. That's major and minor, and in this song, what I'm using is something called the Dorian mode. And the Dorian mode is a little bit different. It sounds like a minor scale, but it's got this one extra sort of positive uplifting note where the sixth is raised. 
and just gives it a really neat kind of feel. And I love that. That's what it's using. I'm using in this whole song. I'm in the C Dorian mode. So I set it to C right here. I choose the mode right here. And again, if you choose CZ or CZ for us Canadians, you get limited to just those seven notes in the Dorian mode. If you choose Dorian 1V, we'll just give you a little bit more variation. And then when, with the minor seven, It's just adding a little bit more dissonance in there with some seventh chords. So getting a little bit more complex, which is can be really cool. So try these different modes out. And then again, all you got to do is choose how many voices you want right here and keep the chord morph all the way to the right and the chord detune all the way to the left. Stereo width is just going to determine how wide these extra notes are left and right. And that's about it. So I've got a few of those patches that have this new chord feature on it. And then I've got just a bunch of other patches. The first patch that inspired this project was a patch called All Future. I left this patch pretty much as it is, but it's got this pitch thing that's happening. I'll just play the patch for you. I've got a bass patch that's also Massive X. All I did for that patch was just go into the to the amplitude envelope and go and adjust the release so that it wasn't quite as long. There's the guitar patch, wooden string, which is a neat sort of plucky sound. Let's listen to that one right there. Let's try just adding that chord feature to this one as well. So I turn on the unison and crank up the chord morph to the right, chord detune to the left, set my scale to C Dorian. So let's go to Dorian, just a regular, we'll do that one right there. And then let's have a listen to that. Crank up the voices to uh, four. Maybe that's a little intense, let's try two. There we go. So that sounds nice. We'll just leave that in the song for now. And then we'll have a look at the other patches. I've got that, those strings, clean strings from Massive X, another new patch that just is beautiful. I've got a free solo lead. Has a bit of a fluty kind of sound to it. Al dente strings. Also a patch that has the chords on it. I've got three notes and it's just beautiful string patch from Massive X. Love it. I've just got some swells happening in here. So let's just have a listen to the song and I hope that gets you kind of inspired to go play around with Massive X a little bit. It's just a really neat way to play with synths, to add this extra polyphony to it, especially if you're not a keyboard player and especially if you're on machine because you can get these complex chords out of the synthesizer that give you more options than what we have with just the chord settings in Machine. So I'm excited about this. I hope they work this into other uh, virtual instruments that they're making. But let's have a listen to the song. There you go. So check out the rest of my videos. I've got lots of videos on machine tutorials, music tutorials, Cubase tutorials. I also do video production and photography and I'll be posting all of those in different playlists so you can follow along with whatever interests you. And go to gibbonscreative.ca to see what else I do and a lot of that is video production as you might imagine. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.